With Bethesda Game Studios bringing as an online-focused Fallout experience this November, there's been numerous questions on how all of this will work. Largely, a lot of these questions are being asked because this is something new and different, something that most of us did not expect to be getting from Bethesda Game Studios. But one of the biggest questions and concerns is how player versus player interactions will work because if this is not handled properly, you'll be building a base, minding your own business just outside of maybe Vault Tech University when X69X PU55Y Slayer X69X will find your position on the map because all player locations are shown on the world map and he'll drop a nuke on your position, maybe ruining the experience for you. Griefing is a problem in really any and all online games. During the Bethesda E3 conference, immediately when the nukes were revealed, a lot of people saw how this could be abused. Now, Bethesda's Pete Hines has discussed what they are planning to do to stop this from happening, and I'll say his response sounds good, but I still feel their plan is going to fall short. Anyway, Pete Hines spoke to GameSpot, and he discussed how they're planning player versus player. First, he explains their vision and how they're hoping Fallout 76 will be played. When you see a person in the world, they're a real person, and now you have to figure out not how did we script that character to interact with you, but that's being controlled by a real person who might be role-playing or doing any number of things. Maybe they're being super helpful. Maybe they're wandering the world as a trader and just trading with people. Maybe they're being a bad guy and like they're, consider they're part of a raider group. Now, that bad guy part is what everyone is curious about because this can make or break this experience. And next, Pete Hines mentions that they have systems to prevent people from being jerks. So allowing for that sort of tension, but with, with systems in place that keep it from being abusive. So you can't, be, you can't be harassed by somebody who just keeps chasing you around the world and keeps killing you over and over again. Like the game literally doesn't allow you that, that to happen to you. See, I do want to make sure to emphasize people will always find a way, whether that's by hacking the game or just being creative, to ruin your day. But controlling it for the most part will be key if that's possible. Death isn't supposed to be a super negative thing. Like, you don't lose your progression. You don't lose all your stuff. Somebody can't kill you and then take everything in your inventory and you start over. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that at all. And I think once we figure out some things, we're sort of, like, tweaking, like, well, maybe it should work like this or this. Um, the, when you see it in action and when you play it, when you feel it, it just like it feels like you're playing a Fallout game. Mm -hmm. Those adjustments and tweaks certainly will probably be made in time for the beta, or maybe after, depending on how players react. But what it sounds like is nothing is permanent yet. Although, when I think about this, I just keep imagining a scenario where certain players will follow you around and annoy you, and or other players will just keep dropping nukes where you're located, because as we know, all player positions will be made available. Next, Pete Hines describes how player versus player functions, which I will admit does eliminate some fears that we have. Again, think of PvP more like issuing a challenge to somebody as opposed to just no matter what I want to do to somebody, I can. It's more like issuing a challenge and the game only lets that go so far before you can basically say, I, I don't I don't want to participate in this challenge anymore. So essentially, players cannot just keep hunting you down, which is great news, although what's stopping them from dropping nukes on your position as often as they can? But lastly, Pete Hines did offer an example for how this PvP function will work. Think of it this way. If you were just playing Fallout 4 and you were exploring and came across a Deathclaw and you try and fight it and die and you respawn, you might say, A... I'm going to try it again because I came close and I want to kill it. Or you might say, I didn't even come close and I'm done and I'm going to go do something else. Like, well, that should kind of be how it works for any human person. I do actually want to bring up some other comments Pete Hines made in a separate interview, this time with Variety, because it sheds some more light on this. So first, he states, it's important to note that this is not just a full-on PvP game where you get in the world and everyone shoots everyone. It's more like a challenge to another player. You can't just let things go unfettered. You don't get all your crap looted if they kill you. There is a revenge thing you can opt into 
into and try to go head to head. And he would continue saying this about PvP. I think some people get it and some absolutely do not. They think it's straight up PvP, they think it's running around and shooting folk, or that you can't play by yourself, or that nukes are going off every minute, or that you can grief people. They are judging it based on other things that say online or post-apocalyptic. The whole theme of this game is that you emerge and the world is a blank canvas. It's your job to rebuild the world and everything that means. I will say the way Bethesda has explained all of this has been confusing. Based on the first teaser trailer, many thought this was the same Fallout experience we've been used to, and comparing Fallout 76 to many other online survival games is valid in my opinion, especially since the few leaks that came before the official reveal have been spot on. I don't think Fallout 76 is a clone of any game, but I do think comparing it to other online shooters and how those games work is a good way to understand some of the issues Bethesda may encounter. Look, I think Pete Hines is underestimating how players play games. Unfortunately, those scripted trailers or the ones that feature fake user dialogue is not how 99% of people play games. Additionally, I really think Bethesda could have and should have explained how all of this works better because from these comments it still doesn't seem everything is set in stone. Even with Pete Hines' remarks, there are holes in Bethesda's mission to stop griefers. We could sit here and probably list them off, but the good news is a beta is on the way. Although I will say, some of my concerns mainly with nukes, I don't really know how you stop someone from nuking a certain region. A lot of these concerns I don't think will be solved until we sit down and start playing the game. But it seems Bethesda understands that fans are worried about this, and like Uncle Pete mentioned, this is a game as a service, which will get consistent updates, and hopefully in five months this is not a problem that we're talking about, although when you look to many of the popular survival or online games in general, this is not an issue that's easily solved or one that goes away completely. My fear is with those raider-like groups, and I picture some players building a settlement, minding their own business, having a fun time, and here comes X69X PU55Y Slayer X69X and his friends using a fat man and constantly shooting at your settlement trying to destroy it and annoy you. Like I said earlier, so many scenarios I could think of, and hopefully the beta will give Bethesda an understanding on more than just the usual bugs that we've come to expect from their games. Anyway, what is your opinion on Pete Hines' comments? Are they reassuring, or do you think a clearer picture needs to be given by Bethesda? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for much more Fallout 76 content to come. And I'll see you later.